Welcome in, Vegas Nation fans. I am your host, Cassie Soto, here with news that the Raiders have made it official with two of their rookies, signing safety Tyree Gillespie and center Jimmy Morrissey. Joining me now to break down these signings is Raiders beat writer for the Las Vegas Review Journal, Vinny Bonsignor. Vinny, with things uh, now with the rookies being signed and things getting back to quote unquote normal here in Las Vegas, we know that the Raiders have entered their second phase of OTAs. Does it seem now that they are finally rocking and rolling that the train is moving to get this team back on track yeah no question about it and, and kind of interesting because if you remember about a month ago uh, the Raiders like almost every team in the NFL voted not to attend or to boycott um, you know the, the uh, in-person on-field phase of OTAs well we get to the to, to the very beginning of, of the actual on-field in-person phase of it and teams around the league including the Raiders are a lot of attendance a lot of players are out there participating it kind of shows you that most players and i got this inkling you know when the vote was that when it actually happened that most players in their heart of hearts wanted to be out there competing for their jobs getting better trying to make their mark uh so uh but long story short a good sign for the writers that they've gotten a lot of participation out there i was told around 70 players if not more uh, were on hand today for the first day uh and i think that that will will last throughout the course of this week now let's talk about these signings really quick, Vinny, and start with fourth round draft pick safety Tyree Gillespie. What do you see him bringing to this secondary that needed a lot of help last season? Well, I think right off the bat, depth. Um, you know, uh, it, it looks like obviously Jonathan Amron was going to be the starting strong safety. Trevon Moreg, uh, the free safety. Uh, Carl Joseph will be in that mix uh, as well. Um, so, so you're looking at a Tyree um, a Gillespie competing for, for time as that third, fourth safety, or excuse me, fourth, yeah, third or fourth safety. Uh, I'd expect him to get on the field. Uh, Gus Bradley has a history of playing young safeties early on in their careers. So um, if he could show anything in OTAs and training camp that he can be a playmaker, they'll figure out a way to get him uh, onto the field in some packages. Well, how about seventh round pick uh, center Jimmy Morrissey? Is this a guy that could fill the, sho fill the shoes of Rodney Hudson, Vinny? I think he's more on the development track. Um, you know, obviously, Andre James uh, got the contract extension. He's the odds on favorite to win the starting center job. Uh, and he'll battle Nick Martin for that position. I expect both to make the team. Uh, Nick Martin is just too good to be off this roster. Uh, so whether he's playing center or guard, um, he's going to be in the mix uh, this year. But Nick Martin's only on a contract for one year. So uh, long range, there will be an opportunity for Morrissey. Uh, to develop uh, and to use this, you know, first year probably as a red shirt year uh, and then be in line for a bigger impact uh, down the road. And that could be sooner rather than later, because I, as I mentioned, Nick Martin is just on that one year deal. We don't know what his status is going to be beyond this season. The well, last one for you here, Vinny, take us through sort of these next few weeks for the Raiders as we get deeper into OTAs. Obviously, we know that some of the rookies, the rest of the rookies, I should say, should be getting into Henderson coming into town. What do these next few weeks look like for the team? Well, um, phase two uh, is a week long, and uh, it consists of uh, you still have to do the all virtual team meetings, uh, but there are opportunities now for on-field uh, participation with coaches involved. However, uh, offense is separated from defense, so there's no lining up uh, offense against defense and working against uh, each other. So it's a week long where guys are getting onto the field with their coaches, uh, to work on actual football uh, activity. Next week, May 24th, starts a three-week phase three where uh, there's actual team meetings, in-person team meetings. Uh, you know, th there will probably be some virtual type stuff as well, uh, but the NFL is now allowing for, you know, people to be in the building for team meetings, number one. And number two, the on-field aspect of it uh, will include 11 on 11, seven on sevens, no hitting, obviously. Uh, uh, that doesn't happen until training camp. But there will be work between the offense and defense in various settings. So it looks more and more like a, uh, an actual practice. Uh, and then beyond that is the mandatory uh, mini camp, which we'll see if, if it even gets to that point. Sometimes coaches feel good enough about the work that was done on the OTAs. They just go ahead and cancel the mini camp. Uh, so we'll see where that's headed. But starting next week, actually starting this week, we're actually starting to see some real football. We're getting back to it, Vinny. Thank you so much. And you're, of course, bringing us all the latest and greatest at VegasNation.com. So keep up the great work, Vinny. Thanks so much for taking some time today. All right, Cassie. Thank you.
Once again, head on over to VegasNation.com for all of your latest Raiders content. For Vinny Bonsignor, I'm Cassie Soto. Thanks so much for watching.